80% of the telco operator's capex is spent on RAN. 60% of the CCO is spent on RAN OPEX. So we need to be much more cost effective. Hello, I am Ignacio Garcia Carrillo, Tech Infrastructure Pre-Sales Leader at Hewlett Packard Enterprise. My team provides technical expertise and solutions to our sales organization, so we boost HP's impact in the telecommunications segment. Today, I am talking about how telcos need the right infrastructure solutions to succeed in open RAN. In order to frame the discussion, let's get started on what 5G is and why open radio access network is important. 5G aims to become for the enterprise what 4G was for the consumer, a platform for a revolution in the consumption of data. Billions of devices with low latency connections on a high bandwidth network. These requirements call for a redesign of the core and of the radio access. We shall use new frequencies, yes, but not only that, we will have many more cells. For example, telcos are expected to need up to 10 times more sites and antennas by 2026 than in 2020. It is also forecasted that there will be 32.4 million new or upgraded cells worldwide. And these numbers, you guess well, generate a significant cost. 80% of the telco operator's capex is spent on RAN. 60% of the CCO is spent on RAN OPEX. So we need to be much more cost effective. And RAN is also a key asset for quality of service when 80% of performance problems that affect customers originate at the RAN. So to address these challenges, the industry has come up with the concept of Open Radio Access Network, Open RAN or ORAN for short. ORAN is the disaggregation of RAN software based on processing from the hardware using open interfaces. It utilizes network functions visualization concepts and lessons learned from the disaggregation of telco core networks. The main benefits are a reduced TCO, flexible and agile deployment, scalability, and no vendor lock-in. In the end, it is all about using the best of breed technology at the best cost, at the risk as well of facing integration issues, which are addressed by the open interfaces they design. In this kind of design, IT infrastructure vendors like Hewlett Packard Enterprise can help in several ways. First, building products to address the need, like Open RAN optimized platform. In the case of HP, Proliant DL110, Gen10 Plus, or HLine 8000T, which are open, flexible, and dynamically scalable, and provide the performance required at the right price and power. And we can do all these things because we have the scale to be able to invest in R&D in specialized telco teams. And we have the scale to deliver in terms of global reach, supply chain capabilities, and cost synergies. Second, infrastructure vendors can build solutions that go beyond the box, like Telco VRAM Blueprints, which are pre-integrated reference architectures, well-tested and documented with multiple partners to reduce the risk of integration, operations, and lifecycle management, while allowing for enough flexibility to adapt to customer needs. Vendors can also offer staging and automated management at scale, or provide services, or financial models to enable customers to deploy more cost-effectively. Thirdly, vendors have to be an active part of the ORAN community, participating, as HP is doing, in forums like ORAN Alliance or Team Open RAN Group. And fourth, vendors need to build rich ecosystems of partners with CPU and acceleration partners, virtualization companies, network equipment providers, and hyperscalers, of course. Now, I would like to get down to some detail on why an infrastructure solution matters. First is the form factor, making ideal systems for space-constricted storage locations. HPE has built a 1U small form factor and form mounting server. Second is the density, key for cost effectiveness and future evolution, with high speed slots and multiple radios. Third is the carrier grade capabilities, making the servers ideal for harsh environments, with Nest Level 3 and cold and hot mode operation. These are only some of the reasons to choose the right platform. This and why commoditization of the infrastructure is alive, and particularly in telco. And this is why HP can help with its Polyan DL110 or Antibus platform. So let's discuss, work together, and thank you for your time. Bye.